Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Last episode was pretty short. It was around like 20, 30 minutes, so it's not really much to talk about last episode. Uh, we went to Apollo Theater, I believe, something like that, and we met some guy that stole our bracers. We had to chase him inside, and we met some, like, prophet who told us, like, our prophecy. And it was, a, it was a pretty short episode. I had to go to work, so I had to make the episode really short. But I have time now, so this episode will probably be an hour and some change. So let's go ahead and start where we left off. And we get a little comfortable here. So we got to go obtain the wing piece by completing the op so observatory constellation. The observatory constellation. Oh, it's one of these. I, I hate puzzles, man. I don't think this is it either. Wait, is it? Okay, how do we... Okay, okay. I think we gotta... Okay, okay, I think I think I know what to do. Let, let's take let's take out these enemies first. They're annoying. Continued his journey. Can he couldn't help but wonder options. if his story would one day be told amongst the stars. I'm gonna try to avoid. The, always says the, uh, the stars puzzle assistance. Souls, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need Confused. to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not I'm a bad night. I'm trying to see something. Will it, will it, will it shine if I... Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't. So I don't, I don't get what to do. Wait, are there more? Oh, there more. More like balls over here. The wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it. Dude, they made this game way too, like, puzzly. I hate it. I hate it. I'm about to turn on assistance. I'm here for the story. I don't want to play these puzzles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, let me look at the map right quick. I'm going to be here all day trying to solve one freaking puzzle. That, how do I cut on puzzle assistance? I need it, please. Please, please. Gotta be on the gameplay. Puzzle captions. I need puzzle assistance, please. I think that was it. Let's check this. Uh, puzzle. Make sure it's recording. The finds the type of scissors for. Provides text and clues for gameplay oriented event. I don't care about that. I want puzzle assistance. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I have to go in here. Like, I hate when games are way too puzzly. <laughs> if that's a word. That, if that, is that even a word? I just don't like... Like, I avoid playing Tomb Raider. I avoid playing games like... Uh, can't really think of nothing else. But yeah, I avoid those games because... I'm not the type of person that likes solving puzzles. If I wanted to solve puzzles, I'll go freaking play puzzles. Like, freaking actually solve puzzles in real life. Like, look at that. It's like so much going on. Dude, they made this, they made this way too hard. Alright, we need puzzle assistance. How do I cut this off? Alright guys, so it looks like I'm just gonna have to try to do this myself, man. I don't I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, it looks like a breakable wall. Look, I really don't know what to do. This is probably the easiest puzzle. That's the funny part. This is like the easiest one probably. Alright, so we got one. We got one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, so that opens both of the gates. Okay, solving puzzles is it too bad right now? All right, so we gotta do this. All right, there we go. Now let's go get that third piece. We don't need any more here. This one goes. Oh, not right there. Right All right, two more, baby. Let's go. I know where the two are at. We just gotta find them. I mean, that was stupid. I know where the two are at. We just gotta find them. Okay. Go. All right, now we gotta figure out how to get that last one. Oh shit! Oh, I gotta wait. To Damn. Need stamina to carry stuff. Two. Fuck! I kept it there. All right. Alright, we gotta figure out how to get this last one. This is the most confusing one right here. Yeah, it probably is the easiest one. Oh my. I hate this game already. <laughs> it's like, nah, this game, this game is really good. Really good. It's just, you know, puzzly. Go in, go. Go, baby. So I guess that's how you get like 
special gear you gotta complete like constellations and stuff like that. Why do I look like I'm lagging? Hmm. Welcome to the Golden Isle in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again. These are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too! All these temples! I can't imagine losing us. Okay, so can I change my wings? Some Some like that. What it does to you. Oh, wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar stranger. back from Tartarus. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus! Daedalus' faulty wings did that! And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out. Eventually. I'm about to fall. Press A to eject and do a double jump. Take it to your body. Probably should get these mushrooms too. Preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Damn. Not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thief! You thought you could escape me? You stole something from that thing? I told you, it's a problem! <laughs> Tweet, delivery boy! You do not deserve the crown you were given! We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! No! your wings! I can't! I have you now! You cannot hide forever! Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat! What was that monster? Typhon. Not THE Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus' wings. THE Daedalus, the great inventor. So? So, they didn't work right and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. <laughs> you literally robbed me. 
And now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You, you are... Hermes, I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? <laughs> Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to his true destiny lay stretched out before him. Wait! That was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus yeah, made that it was crazy. <laughs> He's about to jump. You're already, you're just the third episode. Prologue is over. Alright, jump. game look beautiful. I wonder how much mushrooms and stuff I can collect. Got a new weapon. Nice. Plus forty percent damage for six seconds on perfect hurry. Actually, oh man, dude, this game looks amazing. Oh my god, this game looks cool. Visual customization. I already know about that. Can glide upwards. Last episode. Wow. I just thought you were a bad boy. Oh, 
Are these guys helping me? There's a chest over there. I want to kill I can't block his attack because it's red. I can't block red attack. Oh! Not the We have to protect the Golden yeah. Isle from Typhon's environmentalism. Damn, he slew. Let me get this chest. Alright, so my initial review for this game was a 7 out of 10, but after opening all the, everything up now, and after the prologue, not seeing the world, it, it's, it's, it's a 8.5 out of 10 for me. I'm not in conflict. Can you give me some tips on shield bearing later? No, I just want to open my chest. I'm supposed to reach up there without having to freaking use all my all my adrenaline I mean all my stamina do they really expect me to climb this thing without Falling off because I run out of stamina. Yeah, I can make it. I think I can make it. Oh, we made it. Nigga, we made it. Alright, let's go, guys. We're at the Hall of Gods. The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. Huh. This is incredible. It's all right. Could use some updating. The golem motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. <sighs> and now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair, you or Typhon? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. Huh. Huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. <laughs> Good luck. I'll be right here doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. 
Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. They're not themselves. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handed. Like with... Uh, how do I track my quest? Okay, so these are the gods right here. Okay. How do I, uh... Trying to see something here. Uh, how do I track my quest? Oh, we got new wings over oh, here. Bested the entire Spartan fleet. Ooh. I'm in way over my head. Okay, there we go. Quest tracking. Press and wait. What? Try quest to display them on compass. Hold open map and hold access far sight to see available quests. So hold this to open map and hold R to see. Okay, so these must be the quests. Right? Okay, so I'm guessing these are the quests. Yeah. So we're gonna start out with that one since it's the closest. Try to fly over there. It's admired his view. Shit. No. Am I about to die? Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature. Easily missed. As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. <laughs> so, what is it? Phoenix oh, will need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? Made it on top of the freaking statue. Yeah. Huh. Thing took forever. Going on over there. What was that? I'm guessing this is the viewpoint, <laughs> just like Assassin's Creed. I mean, I think it is. Ah, uh, unfall the valley of this, eternal this, spring. Uh, this its side highlights of include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. 
the Hall of the Gods. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! There we go, baby. We got most of the map. Well, not not most of the map. Half of the map. All right. So what's all of this? Oh, these are like screenshots. I mean, uh, right, lightning. So I'm guessing that's what we're doing next. All right, hold R to far side. How do I reveal it again? I don't want to place. I forgot how to reveal. Oh shit. Let me see, hold on guys. Oh, that's crazy. This person here. I'm gonna reveal all of this stuff. So I don't have to. Eesh. Oh my god, it's like crazy. Alright, well, I'm not gonna reveal everything because this shit is being stupid. Okay. I think we got a lot of it. I'm just holding RT and just hoping that the reveal comes up. Uh, I think that's I think that's it. Oh no. Alright, I really think that's it now. I think I got them all. I revealed everything. Nope. Couple more. These are all chests. I want to go get those off camera, not on camera. All right, so yeah, I think that's it with the uh, revealing. Let me make sure everything is still recording. Yeah, we got a lot. You know, go farm some stuff. We got some chests. Got a lot of stuff. All right, so let's go look at this apple tree.
It's so peaceful. I just, I hate the free, I hate that they added a stamina. Like, Assassin's Creed does, don't have stamina. Only like, yeah, really, it, it has it a little bit, but it like, not when you're like doing parkour or anything. You know? Go investigate the apple tree. Come back whenever you're found in <sighs> And be sure to tell all your fellow creatures that I am here to serve them. Fresh apples available like this. And then... Suddenly, you wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite. Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. <laughs> he turned over to a tree. <laughs> Phoenix! Sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. <laughs> Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am hmm. reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt, it shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. The salt They're really prime. kill plants? No, oh, no, no. So we'll need uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You are a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? Hmm. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Siphon from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. I want the chest! Alright, kill this guy first. Okay, I'm about to die. I'm trying to use my... 
Oh, we gotta start the whole game over. It's like, I don't know how people play games like that where you like suddenly you freaking the majestic um, form of a wild creature. Alright, we're gonna skip that chest and go straight <laughs> to the, the place. If wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief. Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Leave me alone. When am I gonna get a horse? Alright. Alright, so we gotta knock this pearl in the ocean. I don't know where the pearl is. I'm guessing we gotta kill this big guy first. How do you? Got them knees. Kill him. Come on, let's go. Come on, baby. Grandpa Uranus locked all the cyclopes away with the other cubs, huh? Yes, he was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. Jeez, you still got a long way to go. Oh, man. Yeah. Huh. Almost there. We're almost there. What is Is this the ocean? This is a lake. Is this still considered the ocean? I don't think so.
Hopefully it just rolls right down. Go, 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 go. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is it gonna break right through it? Come on. They really want me to move each one of these. Dude. This game. There's some holes. Almost to the river, boys. I gotta figure out how to open this door now. So it looks like we gotta hit targets. Bam. Bam. And bam. To the ocean it goes. Here we go. Collect the golly sea farm. Can I jump down here without dying? Oh, I, could, I forgot. I can fly in the game. I can fly. From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown. Luckily, I should be able to fast travel now, right? Aphrodite or no? I can fast travel here and then go to Aphrodite. So yeah, after we finish this mission, we're gonna end this episode. I've been recording for like an hour and some change, I believe. Go ahead and continue episode four. I can't Two. take this anymore, Zeus. Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos... ...may fought. You can't be serious. <laughs> Fell into the sea. <laughs> That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! <laughs> Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure, ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. It made them freaking funny. Returned, 
you, sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> This is the only guy I gotta kill, cause this is freaking... <laughs> the hell, he didn't even die? What just happened? Typhoon must not like you, though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. <laughs> Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and... Uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three raids, though. Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in force. No one says that. No one says that. Tough crowd. <laughs> what about the roots blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... No. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy! By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work, if you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. 
Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right, we have a plan then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> well, alright guys, I really appreciate you guys for watching, for all the people that's watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. Part 4 will be out uh, tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out.